This is really exciting, a little scary. Honeybee, the smallest cow we have. We have many jerseys here on this homestead. She's the smallest cow we've ever had give birth. And it's happening right now. She's a first time freshener. This is where all the things could go wrong. Hopefully they won't. We have a feeling it's a bull. Are we gonna have to pull? Will we this do. go smoothly? Oh, what the heck, I'm gonna bet on heifer. This would be number five in a row. This is why you don't go to Vegas. This is why I don't go to Vegas. Let's see what happens. Honeybee's water's breaking. Oh yeah. This is actually happening. It's not midnight. A week and a day? A week and a day. After our initial expectation. Um, it's not midnight. Do you know yet. you're watching and you're watching your, your cow or your heifer and like they're under really, you see it like blossom. <laughs> you're like, okay, it's happening. Then it's a day, a day and a day and a day and a day. And then you really see like, like yesterday, we really saw the tautness of the whole udder and the nipples. Nipples, that's some of you. Oh boy. The, uh, the tautness of the udder and the teats. It was like, okay, this is happening soon. And she's been having contractions since last night. Well, man, we were up all night long. I don't think we slept. I've slept like 45 minutes at a time. Yeah. Yeah, but it's happening. And so this will be, she'll be delivered hopefully within the hour. It's 5.30ish yeah. dinner time, so hopefully it doesn't go too late. We have a nice calf on the ground and we won't even have to milk till tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. But yeah, the water looks good, no... No blood or anything, it looks like. So this is the longest we've been watching. Oh my goodness. A cow, yeah. This is long awaited for. Like we've been waiting for a week. Oh my goodness. Or, <laughs> since she got bred. Nine months nine and forever. Months and <laughs> uh, we thought this was gonna happen a week and a day ago. Yeah, she's due Friday past. Today's Monday, so she's not like hugely overdue. Now you think it's a bull, why? Well, Other than the fact that we've had four yes, heifers I just in think a row. The odds are in the favor of a bull now. And she's a little later. So they, they say, say. <laughs> bull calves go later, heifer calves are earlier. Grasshopper, we were like, the day of, we were like, hmm, maybe we should move her down into the paddock. Boom, had the baby. <laughs> Honeybee for a week's been like acting. I always say Honeybee's a uh, drama queen. Yeah, she's a Grasshopper's person. wild, Honeybee's a drama queen. So for a week, I should talk. Yeah, really. I wonder what I'd be like if I had to push a calf out of me. <laughs> got a lot more issues. Those hooves, man, they gotta hurt. Ooh. They're soft though. Are they? Yeah. That's cool. Those are nice. Yeah, it's a nice looking cow. udder. Those are bulls. Those are the like the same size too. Yeah, you thirsty stuff. Look at that. Wow. Bring out the zoom lens. Mm -hmm. So, if we have to pull, who's pulling? Um, probably you. <laughs> I'm a little, um, hard for me to get down yeah. and around <laughs> things, so. Yeah, I don't think I want you pulling. The only thing is just, can I fit? But I think I can fit. Yeah, I mean, if George can fit to AI or. That's true. No reason. We're a little bit, we're always prepared to pull if we have to. At least to help. Yeah. If positioning needs fixed, right? If One of the issues with the mini jerseys Honeybee is our littlest mini jersey. She's our littlest teeny cow. And she's never calved. So we don't know, is she gonna have a larger calf? We had Luna 
gave us a larger calf, a mid-sized mini. Mm -hmm. Grasshopper gave us a mid-sized mini. Uh, so Honeybee could give us a full-on mini, we're hoping. We'd be excited about yeah, that. Yeah, for her sake. <laughs> for her sake and just to be fun to get an actual mini, another one. But um, if she makes a mid-sized calf, we're going to need to help her. And so we just, we talk about this in every birth video. We use the rule of 20. Uh, this was taught to us by uh, cow vet Cody Creelman. We got an interview with him. I'll have a link below if you want to check it out. Um, he said every 20 minutes you want to see progress, changes. He also explained on a first time freshener, you can give him a little extra time. Yeah, so if we wait an hour before we go in. With a lot of the studies they've done even on beef cows shows that if going in um, around an hour with a first time heifer who's giving birth, is uh, they'll have more calves to sell, so they have a better success rate with not any detrimental effect to the cow. That's the nice thing about if you if you do it right, if you glove up and you're clean, you can't really and and you pull the calf the proper way. There's like very little risk. Whereas if you don't, there's always the risk that the calf could get stuck and you could lose the calf and the cow if things got really bad. So that's not a risk we're willing to take. And that's why you see us pull about half of our births we've pulled, right? And it's always been the first timers. Yeah. Yeah, it's always been the first timers, even the goats, right? Yeah. Her udder is huge. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I got milk eyes. Just thinking of all that butter and butter. cream. I can't even drink cream. Maybe our cow cream. Maybe ours. Yeah. progress at this point we're kind of just seeing water mucus water we're looking for feet we really want to see some feet one foot then two maybe a little nose but uh we're not seeing it so won't be long I'll be gloving up not as worried about working with honeybee as grasshopper grasshopper I was definitely afraid of pulling. I don't think honeybee should be tank. too difficult. She can be a tank, but but uh, she doesn't have the uh, the wild factor yeah, kick. or the reach. The reach. <laughs> No. 
Okay, that's it. Three. Yeah, I'm gonna glove up. No, no, I'll, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna glove up and uh, reach in, just see if there's everything presenting itself right. Feels like there's progress. Maybe apply some traction. Feel a foot. Okay, that's good. Yep, there's a foot. It just kicked. So. You feel another foot? I don't feel another foot. That one. Here we go. Yep. Oh wow. Maybe that's, yeah, that's her. That's the bag. Water sack. Well, there's two. Goodness. I can't, I can't find that other foot. If it's back, I don't have to pull it out. Can you reach foot? back farther? Push it. Ready, bike? Yeah. Oh, I just can't tell where that other foot is. Where could it be? I don't know if I can fit in there. Do you want to try? She's pushing so hard. Yeah. That's good. I can't. I legit can't the fit. Two feet should be. Uh, there's a foot like above. I'm pretty sure that foot's above. Let's you know. try to move her a bit. Okay. Come on, Papa. Come on. Come on, baby. That helped a lot. 
Holy crap, yes. Okay, now we're in business. Okay, two hoofs. Yes. Next contraction, we're doing this. Wow, that was so much better. To the hoof of the Yeah. The yeah, I could not. Oh, man. I got two hooks. There we go. That's a girl. That's a girl. Almost there. She's going down. Sorry, but she's... Trying to just work with the contractions. You sit down. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. Back and down again. Yeah. That's good. Time to pull down. Yes! Come on. Yeah, baby. Come on. You're almost there. Yes! 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 Come on. Oh, and he's alive. Look at that. He's blinking. Hey, little guy. Come on, B. Come on, B. Come on. Almost there. Don't give up now, B. Come on. Come on. Give me another push, B. Come on, buddy, come on. Holy crap. Come on. Yep, that's it, come on. Yep, come on. Yes, yes, get this baby out. Yes, hi. Welcome. Oh, gee. Ah, yes, breathe. Breathe. Oh, my God. Is she okay? Yeah. Oh, of course it was a problem. Oh, pick him up. Oh. Look, look, B. That's what you did. This little floppy thing that's. Come on, be alive. After all that. Is that a girl? That looks like... Oh, that's a umbilical cord. Is that a girl?
had a, a moment where I like didn't think I was gonna be able to pull that calf out. I could not find that other leg. Calf presented wrong? Yeah, with the foot back. One foot was back. And I've never had to deal with that before, so I didn't know like where is it? Where is it? And Kay was telling me like reach in, find the other leg, pull it back. Yeah, I felt the head and I felt a uh one hoof, but I couldn't find that other one. Finally, I found the other leg. It was folded, it was folded in under her. It was folded under the calf and I couldn't, I was like pinned between her pelvis mm. and the calf and I couldn't get past because, it. Because, yeah, Honeybee was laying down. Honeybee was laying down and I just couldn't get past it. I kept saying, I don't know if you could hear it on the video, I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get it. And Kay, There's no room for you. Kay, yeah, I said, I can't fit, I don't fit. And Kay was smart enough to say, why don't we uh, get her to stand up? And the first time we tried, she didn't want to stand and then we tried again and then I was like, no, we have to. So the second time it was like, we mean business, stand up and we got her up. And the minute I got in there while she was standing, there was so much more room to work with mm -hmm. that like instantly that foot just went Bonk. But I think that's why this calf was taking so long yeah. to progress. It just, it had a yeah, hoof it yeah. presented that's wrong. That's one of those times where if you don't intervene. You know, you want the cow to have the energy to help push and you want the calf to have the energy to, now that it's out, be able to stand up and you don't want a weak calf and Oof. you uh, you really like, I was like brought to tears by you. Very <laughs> <emotional>. <laughs> it's just cool to see you like, be able to do this. <laughs> like how far you've grown and like how competent you are now. <laughs> just from being like afraid of ladybug like i filmed all the videos on the other side of the fence because i was afraid of her and now i'm like i can't fit i can't get any deeper i know it was very impressive it's okay it's okay okay checking your baby Okay, you gotta be good we got a time. live calf, a live cow, and oh, it's just so much relief. Oh man, when that comes out, yes. every time I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so much relief. Uh, it's so much tension and, yeah. and like, come on, we're not vets. We we do this twice a year. So I, I had the phone out. I was like, all right, finding the vet's number. The vet's open late today and- uh, Late as in like, I, I think he's closed now. <laughs> I was like, should you call the vet? Oh yeah. And if, I, I didn't get a good look, but I think we got another heifer. Well, I saw four teeth, so. Is that what that means? I didn't see any testicles, but we'll do another. We another got a double check double there, but. Check. Could you imagine if we got another heifer? Five in a row, we are gonna have such- a bull streak. <clears throat> oh man. When our day comes, it's gonna be years of bulls. It is a serious rush. Yeah, not like one you wanna seek out. <laughs> but I mean, you, you want to live start, a life. Like going around the farms and being like, hey, can I pull a calf? No, no. Like, and you want the cow to do it. Like, I don't want people to watch no, this and think, like, this guy it. just loves yanking calf. I mean, that calf presented wrong, but like, you so, like, the emotion is so high. Like, oh man, we got to make sure this calf has got to get out. Mama's got to be okay. Oh man. Like, 
the anxiety and then the worry. I saw that little tongue sticking out. And I was like, oh, is the tongue blue? Does the cap look blue? Is it dead? Oh. Hey, you're all right. <laughs> Just you gotta stay still. Stay still. She's like a aggro mom. <laughs> One of those parents who hits their kids in front of you, and you're just like, ugh, awkward. Mm -hmm. They don't do that anymore. You just see that in movies. Movies. Now. Okay. Well, anybody who's been watching Home Study long enough knows how this goes. The calf's out. Mama's okay. The next thing we have to do, comment below if you already know what we have to do. Our night is not over. We have to make sure this calf eats, ideally within 20 minutes to an hour. So, stay tuned in the next video. Calf, getting the calf to eat. How's Honeybee gonna be as a mom? So far she's a little bit aggressive, so we gotta watch her. And we will confirm whether or not we've had a fifth heifer. Because that quick glance, that looked for real like another girl. And I don't even believe it, which is why we oh, gotta flip second. that calf over and take a hard look for balls. Testicles. Testicles. Everyone's gonna yell at me for that. <laughs> Get some leeway. Get a pass. Uh, if you enjoyed this, you're going to love Grasshopper's birth. Click there to watch that. It's a lot less stressful. Yeah, Grasshopper's birth was actually less shocking. Honeybee the drama queen. <laughs>